Hi everybody. Today's workout was three rounds, three rounds, <laughs> three rounds, uh, 12 minutes, 50 seconds of work with a 10 second rest. There were only four exercises and it was super cool. I actually did it twice now already because there was like a, a problem the first time. So I had to do the whole thing a second time, which really, really burnt out the core. So, because the whole entire workout was just core, core, core. It was awesome. I really enjoyed it. So we had a one-arm burpee swing on the right and then the left, then V-up abs weighted, and then weighted jack to sidekick, alternating. So let me show those quick and their modifications. Okay, so one dumbbell I used, a 15-pound octagonal shaped dumbbell. So it's octagonal. Okay, and that's important so that it doesn't roll when you hop out, okay? So I'm gonna hop out to plank here. Straighten the back and swing that guy up, okay? So it's out, in, up, alrighty? So all one side for 50 seconds, then the other side. Now, uh, if you don't have an octagonal shaped, um, dumbbell, you're just going to put your hand on the floor for the burpee pot, okay? So you'll hop in, okay? You'll hop, I mean out, so you'll hop out, in, then pick up your weight and swing it, because otherwise it could roll and that's extremely dangerous. Now a complete beginner, you can do the exact same thing, just elevated. And if you're definitely not wanting to do any type of plank on one arm, that's okay. Just do your regular hop out, hop in, pick up your weight, and bring it overhead. Place it down, put your hands on either side, hop out in, okay? Just don't pick up weight without setting your back, okay? Straighten, pull in your tummy, okay? Straighten your back, the weight's in my heels, and I use my glutes and my legs and my core to get the weight up. And then V up abs, okay? So we came down here, now in this, this one, I'm going to be working a little bit of um, back, upper back, because of this, this pullover, and um, also triceps, and um, a little bit of the upper chest, and core, crazy, crazy core. Alrighty, so I'm going to bring this weight safely, put it over here, alrighty. So I'm squeezing, I've already tilted my pelvis. There's a, a, a posterior tilt, so the upper part of my pelvis, pelvis is tipping backwards. So that's the posterior tilt. I'm engaged already, okay? I'm going to bring this guy over my head, and then I'm going to raise him up to my shins, okay? Bring him over, raise him up. Bring him over, raise him up, okay? And that's what you do there. And then we had the weighted jack to sidekick, which was definitely in there just to throw in a little bit of legs and to keep the cardio component going. So that, okay, in complete beginners, obviously that's wicked hard. You're gonna, um, you're just gonna do, also if you have issues, if your core's not very strong, I'm sorry, I got up, if your core's not strong yet, you can, let's get this safely. Okay, alrighty. So you can bend one knee slightly, okay? And then bring your weight up and over, okay? That's it, alrighty? And you can also ditch the weight if you need to, okay? Switch, switch, alrighty? Okay, so then the way to jack was Basically, we are, we're going to come down, kick, up, down, kick, up, down, kick, okay? Just stay super tight, chest up, and it was fun. Like I said, I had to go through it twice, but it just gave me more opportunity to work my core. So I hope that you join me over at Dream Bodies Gym and do this in real time. It was super fun. Take advantage of the extended explanation for modifications. 
uh, for equipment and or beginner level. And have fun. Great core cool workout. Fast. Done. Bye.